Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you this evening. We greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Here we are on another Lord's Day. I want to know wherever you are in Bermuda, in the UK, have you praised God today? Have you worshiped God today? Have you done what a member of the family of God should have done on this day dedicated to worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Amen. He is our conqueror. He is our king. Let me add that he is our soon coming king. I tell you what, we've become so modern. I don't know if the church is looking for Jesus anymore, but I'm going to tell you, well, wait a minute. We are looking for Jesus. We are pilgrims traveling through this strange land that might I say is getting stranger by the day. Yet God knows and God wrote about it. He wrote about it so that we would not be overcome, amen. And so we greet you, those of you on social media, welcome. Say hi, everybody, say hi, church. There we are, amen, amen. Good that you have joined us. You are in for a blessing, why? Because we have gathered to give God praise. We have gathered to honor and magnify the name of Jesus. So that's why you are in for a blessing. Well, before we get over to our uh, praise and worship with our praise and worship leader, uh, you see Sister Destiny Seaman, before we do that, amen, we want to welcome our elder Esther Trot, Reverend Trot. She's gonna open up in prayer and following that, our sister Destiny will minister a song. God bless you there, Chief. Good evening, everyone. God bless you and honor to God and to our covering, to the Bath Raffer Alliance and pastors, and of course, to my pastor, Reverend Dr. Maria Seaman. Let us go to the throne of grace. Father, we say thank you. God, we have this opportunity that we can come into your presence one more time. God, we thank you because you didn't tell us just come this morning and told us that's it. You told us to come into your presence and we're coming with thanksgiving tonight. God, we pray. God, that everything that will be done tonight, this worship leader, God, the one that will read the scripture and above all your servant who is set before you and heard from you. God, we pray a divine touch upon her, God. Have your way in this service. Those on social media, let something that's said, something that's done would draw them to you and give them a desire to be God, one of your kingdom children. Have your way tonight, and we're going to worship you, God. We're going to praise you, God. We're going to glorify you because you are worthy. And we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And so good evening, everybody. I hope that you've had a great weekend and an even better Sunday. We're going to start our praise and worship tonight. I live to worship you, Lord, I live to adore you and for the rest of my days i will give you the praise i live to worship your name i live to worship you lord i live to adore you and for the rest of my days i will give you the praise i live to worship your name Back to the top. I live to worship you. Lord, I live to adore you. And for the rest of my days, I will give you the praise. I live to worship your name. Anyone?
Anybody got a praise? Anybody got a praise? Clap your hands and praise. Clap your hands and praise. Anybody got a praise? Anybody got a praise? Lift your hands and praise. Lift your hands and praise. Anybody got a praise? Anybody got a praise? Shout for joy and praise. Shout for joy and praise. Anybody got a praise? Anybody got a praise? Do you dance and praise? Do you dance and praise? Anybody got a praise? Anybody got a praise? Clap your hands and praise. Clap your hands and praise. Anybody got a praise? Anybody got a praise? Lift your voice and praise. Lift your voice and praise. Anybody got a praise? Anybody got a praise? Shout for joy and praise. Shout for joy and praise. Anybody got a praise? Anybody got a praise? Do you dance and praise? Do you dance and praise? I live to worship you, Lord. I live to adore you. And for the rest of my days, I will give you the praise. I live to worship your name. For the rest of my days, I will give you the praise. I live to worship your name. For the rest of my days, I will give you the praise. I live to worship your name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed that quick song. <laughs> Anybody got a praise? Lift your voice and praise. Clap your hands and praise. Lift your hands and praise. Do your dance and praise. I'm exhausted with the song. I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you, like, what's the what's the word next? What's the next word? Yes. Amen. Thank you, Sister Seaman. I thank God for your voice and you giving it. Amen. To God. Give it back to God. That is so vital because he gave it to you. Again, we welcome everyone in the Zoom room and out there in social media land. God bless you. At this time, we are going to call on, I see you, Brother Kenny. We're going to call on our deaconess, Carolyn Dallas. She's going to read the scripture. And then we're going to ask our sister, Destiny Seaman, to come on back and lead us in another song. Deaconess Dallas. Okay, good evening, church. Our scripture reading this evening is taken from Matthew chapter seven, verse 13 and 14, and Proverbs chapter three, five to six. Here beginneth the reading of God's holy word. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word, for the word of the Lord, for the people of God. Amen. Amen. And now we are going to sing God Restores. God Restores. God Restores. God Restores. God restores. He restores my mind. My mind. He restores my soul. My soul. With His healing hands, I made whole. He makes my life complete. My reunion is so sweet. I'm a living testimony that God restores. From the top, God restores. 
God restores. God restores. God restores. He restores my mind. He restores my mind. He restores my soul. With his healing hands, I made whole. He makes my life complete. My reunion is so sweet. I'm a living testimony that God. testimony that my God restores. Has God ever restored anything? When they gave up and you gave up, when it didn't look like restoration was possible, that's when God has to step in, folks, because he'll do the impossible. When men say no and it's God's will, <laughs> your yes will kick in and it will be so. And that's why we have to testify, testify to others, because there are those that need to know from the children of God that beyond what the scientists say, beyond what doctors say, lawyers say, teachers say, God will restore. Hallelujah. Again, to our sister Destiny Seaman, thank you. She's always bringing in the songs, folks, bringing in the songs, making mama work hard, trying to remember words. And keys, but I do absolutely adore her voice, and we thank God for you. Continue to shine forth. This generation needs you. Carry the word, carry the song. Amen. Amen. Well, again, we are just delighted, and you know, we do want to give honor to the Father, Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. We do also want to make mention of our covering, our Bishop, Jacqueline E. McCullough, the Bishop. Amen. And you know, I was listening to her just before church, this, um, when I, you know, before I come to church, I listened to Beth Rafa. And if she, they weren't focused on the site, how do you see? I said, look at this, a wonderful lineup for what we minister. It is about how you see things. It is. When we want you as a candidate, we see you as a great person for the party. 
when we don't want you to, we don't see you so great. I'm telling you, it's about what we see. I just thought I'd bring a live example to you. One minute, you're the best. The next minute, not so. And that's why we don't see according to our own carnal sight. We see according to God's word. Amen. We see according to a word that will never change. And that's where we rested. And I'm preparing now to introduce our speaker. I do want to say that it's so wonderful. I see her sister here, Sister Bailey. God bless you again. We're waving to you. God bless you. Good to see you. Amen. To the Lightborns from the UK, we see you there. And in um, case you don't know, people may not know, you, I think everybody can sort of align your screen. You can change your screen, you know, where people are. So I've got my speaker right here, right in front of me. I'm looking right at her, right there, right there, right there. Hey, Amen. Yeah, yeah, right there. I'll put you front and center right there. I want to keep my eye on the speaker at all times. I want to hear what God is bringing forth through this vessel. And let's talk about it or introduce our speaker. No stranger, absolutely not, to you, to Shekinah Worship Center. Most of all, I say to servanthood. I think that's the most important thing. No stranger to servanthood. I will say I get to, um, I guess, brag a little bit, right? Brag in the Holy Spirit that God blessed me to be her Sunday school teacher when she was a new convert. How about that? I didn't know back then I was going to be a pastor. What in the world? And so we are grateful for those days. We never will forget our beginnings. It's very important. God is a part of the whole process. So we thank God for that. And always respectful and diligent. And she took a trip to Israel. She shan't forget it. Neither shall we. It solidified some things. And that's why God continues to use her. And so our deaconess, early in De Silva, she is the secretary, you know, the one that really handles a lot of the uh, background administrative stuff. She is the vice chair person of the board of trustees. Folks, that makes her a bigger board of trustees. I better make sure I got to teach right and preach right. They may fire me. They're right. Okay. Anyway, it's about Deaconess Erlene De Silva. What I love, one of the things I should say that I love about our Deaconess, and we saw it today. We saw it today. Because nobody knew I was going to do it because God told me to do it. And I said, I just, I felt so happy, so excited doing it. We saw Deaconess holding the weight of her family and recognizing that she's doing something and it's making a difference. It's a kingdom thing. And as I gave her the certificate for her grandson, who I term my professor, say, Ari, I, I think she could collapse in tears. Who would have thought that something that might be insignificant to others would carry such a weight? Well, I would have, because that's how I felt doing it. This is a big moment in Shekinah. And so to Deaconess Earlene, I want to thank God for you, your heart to serve, and your heart, I believe, determined not to give up on family. And church, that's what we cannot do. We cannot give up. We won't give up. Hallelujah, God. If he, as God tarries, we're pulling them in one way or the other. God, let your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I pray that my three daughters and all our relatives are a part of the number that have been numbered. Amen. To make it into the kingdom. So with that in mind, we are going to hear from a servant of God who has excitedly, I would say, prepared because the sermon has been ready for weeks, folks. Been ready for weeks. And so therefore, this tells me that a sure word has been spoken, a very comfortable word. And so, Deaconess Early and I will pray, and then you are welcome to take over the Zoom mic and to minister that which God has given to you. Folks, let's look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, another time we approach you. No small thing, it's the greatest thing. It's out of this world. It's supernatural. God, that from your throne room on high, you look down, you look low, 
and you snatch us and you catch us and you guide us and you keep us. I thank you for your servant who shall deliver the word of God on this night. I thank you for our deaconess, Erlene De Silva. God, I pray that the same excitement and energy and just anticipatory exuberance that she has exhibited along the way will be seen and felt, oh God, that it will go beyond our flesh uh, outward and really just pierce into our heart. She is a fit vassal unto you. Now fit her for this battle right here. Thank you, God, that the words of her mouth and the meditation of her heart will be found acceptable in your sight. You are her strength, her redeemers. We wait to be blessed by this word. Have your way, God. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone says, amen. Deaconess Arlene De Silva, put your hands together and welcome her. Thank you so much, Pastor, for that prayer. Firstly, I must give a hallelujah praise, honor and glory to the triune God. And I thank you, Lord, for being present this morning in the service. You, the Holy Spirit just touched so many hearts this morning. I'm also sending regards to our covering Bishop Jacqueline McCullough, the Bath Rafa family, the Bath Rafa Alliance, and a special, special thank you to my pastor, Maria Seaman, for giving me this opportunity to speak to God's people. I also wanna thank our head elder, Ken Seaman, the executive, the ordained ministers, deacons, my Swin family, my brother and sisters in Christ worldwide, and a special, special thanks to my family and friends that have tuned in on the different media platforms. And Lord, I pray to you that this message that you have downloaded in my heart will touch someone's heart tonight.